there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. It has been ages since we've made a card and my sister's birthday is this week, so I thought it would be fun to make a card together. And I just put together this card. It came together so quickly and I like the layout, so I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do this layout but with some different stuff? Because I'm a big believer in using what you have. We all have different stashes. I'm not enamored with getting everything brand new for every card. I love to use what I have and what's in my stash. And we all have different stuff. So let's embrace that and grab your supplies and let's do some playing. So first thing I have here is a craft card base. I just made it out of some cardstock. So we cut your cardstock to 10 inches by 7 inches and fold it in half and there you go. I'm going to use some tissue paper. Now this tissue paper came in an Ulta new package and it had the prettiest, um, the prettiest gold design on it and they wrapped their um, they wrap their products in there when you order from them. And I just thought that was really pretty, so I saved it. And I'm gonna crinkle it up for some texture. And then I'm just gonna take a permanent glue stick and apply it to the back of my tissue paper here. Uh, glue stick works really well for attaching tissue paper because it's so light. And this tissue paper is not really um, uh, fragile. It's got a nice like kind of almost like waxy coating on it. You could also use deli paper that you have um, that you've gel printed on. That would be really pretty. Or save gift wrap. And I know the Dollar Tree has some really pretty printed tissue paper that's kind of like this too. So um, or you could just use regular scrapbook paper or mulberry paper. Get creative guys. Use what you have. You should you don't need to be making a shopping list. You need to be making a looking through your stash list, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. So this layer is our kind of color and texture layer. And smooth it out as much as you want, but try to keep some of that texture in there. Isn't that pretty? Now you could ink that up with like a metallic ink pad if you wanted to, but this already has some metallic on it. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. But if you had a plain, um, more plain paper and you wanted to give it a little bit of bling, ink pad is so nice for that. Or brushing on some, um, uh, dry brushing on some gold acrylic paint would also look good. Now I loved the round uh, clock here that I had in the background so I thought oh, why don't we use a doily. I think a doily would look good. Now before I stick anything down I want to put some, I want to like lay out some elements. So I've got this large flower sticker and I used, um, I used another large flower sticker there so that gave me the idea. And then I like this kind of, a, this is a die um, by Tim Holtz. I think it might be like a locker, a locker door or something. So these are pretty big elements and I wanted to make sure they're all going to look good and, and fit in there. So it's kind of like you're putting rocks in a jar and you got to put your biggest rocks in first and then you put in the pebbles and then the sand to make sure everything fits. So that's what I'm doing right here. I want to make sure that everything kind of, kind of looks nice. And I love clustering and layering up because I think that's a nice... That's a nice effect. And then I've got some other little doodads. I got this sticker here. It's just some, um, it's like some ledger paper or something. I think that's kind of cute. I've got some just fabric scraps. These are from a quilt shop. They're, they're just like strips of fabric. So if you had scraps, you can just cut it into strips. And that's all that is. But I bought some bags of them and they're so fun to use kind of in place of ribbon. And then I've got these, these little, uh, these little they're from a little collage book and I thought they might be kind of cute to stick in there. So I'm happy with this layout. I think this layout's really nice. So I'm just gonna kind of set this aside and hopefully remember where everything's gonna go. And I'm gonna put some glue stick on the back of my doily. And a little tip is I will glue it right over where I'm gonna put it on the, uh, on the card. So hopefully if I get any like stray glue, it's just gonna help stick down what I plan on gluing anyway. And this is a Scotch permanent glue stick. I also like the Avery permanent glue sticks. They all seem to work really well. You just want to avoid anything that says washable and look for the word permanent. And glue sticks are not infallible. Uh, I would definitely not use it for anything heavier than, um, than this or you'll be sending an activity and not a card in the mail because it'll get to your recipient and it'll be in a million little pieces. So I just have it slightly off centered there. And ugh. I'm gonna use a paper towel to kind of press that down because I have, I'm getting, uh, getting glue on my fingers. So it will dry and it, will, it won't be sticky because it's a permanent glue stick. And hopefully it shouldn't be too glossy. Right now it looks a little, <laughs> it looks a little sus, but it'll be fine. And then let's see, do I want this? I think I want that underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down. And a lot of these little things I'll pick up when, um, 
like in little packs, um, like for instance, there was uh, like a set of six sticker books on Amazon. They were really cheap and I ordered them once and I gotta see where this is gonna go before I put this down. I think I like that, like that. Just slightly overlapping there, kind of halfway over. And uh, it's, I really want to encourage you to use your stickers because sometimes the sticky goes bad. Hopefully, is this a sticker? This actually might be a die cut. Now that I'm trying, actually that's a die cut. That's not a sticker. I better, I better get some glue here. I don't know if my spout on this is so hot these days. So you'll have to let me know. Do you like these real time card making tutorials? I had refilled this glue yesterday and I don't know what I did to it, but then it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it wasn't allowing the glue to pass through. I don't know what I did to it, but I think I, it's like I clogged it. So I'm just gonna try to just dot a little bit on there and spread out what I've got. This is just matte Mod Podge actually. I like to use that as a glue because it's, um, it's not shiny and it sticks quite well. I think I had that about like that. I'm thinking. Okay, and then this, I want to wrap this with some of those ribbons. I think I'll do the green one in the center. Maybe I'll put the green one on last because um, I'll, it can overlap these. So I'm just going to make sure I'm in frame. I feel like I need to zoom out a little bit or I'm going to go out of frame. You can see it. Oh yeah, I zoom out and you get to see the mess on my desk because I wasn't quite sure exactly what I was going to do. So I've got some mushroom stamps and I've got some postmarks and I've got some ink and stuff that didn't quite make the cut. And I don't know if these scissors are going to do the trick. I might have to go find my ribbon scissors. Oh, I cut all right. And it's kind of fun to make um, colors that aren't, you wouldn't necessarily put together like red and purple, put them together and make them work. I think it's kind of a fun, fun thing to do. I use a lot of vintage ephemera or vintage looking ephemera, even if it's not vintage, because I find it's really easy to mix and match those things. So it doesn't have to be, um, you know, you don't have to buy like a collection per se to have everything match. Everything will just kind of match because it's stuff you like and you picked out and it's all got those kind of like more cream and muted tones. And that's another thing. It's, I think a lot of times people have a tr have trouble mixing and matching because they don't really know what they like and they just kind of buy stuff that's popular as it comes out because you know you're inspired by other people's work and there's so many talented people sharing ideas and I totally get that but then I feel like all of our stuff starts to look the same and then um, and then we don't even know what we like anymore and I think that's why I stopped making cards for so long was because well for one I have a whole a whole uh, closet full of them that I don't know when I'll ever use um, but other but also because we all wrapped that around a couple times. Um, uh, because I was just kind of like, I don't even know what I like anymore. You know, I'm so overwhelmed by all the choice and all the stuff. And I needed a break. But I felt like making a card for my sister because I made her a sketchbook. Oh, I was going to use some of the paper that I used to, the sketch to make the sketchbook, but I I, uh, I haven't. Maybe I'll use it on the inside. Um but yeah, I kind of, I felt like making, I felt like making one. I'm going to pull that knot out because I love the little knots. And I love how random this, um, this material is. My gosh, I bought this a couple years ago and I've used it on a lot of cards. They still have so much left, but it's, it's really neat. There. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to need a little bit stronger of an adhesive for that. I'm going to go to my trusty... My trusty uh, score tape here, and I've got some thin stuff, so I will be able to go along the edges. I'll put a fairly thick strip along the bottom because I want to make sure that's nice and strong. And I love that I can tear it, but I, I want to keep it. I, I just want to go on the edges because I want these little louvers to be um, free, so I can tuck things in there. I'm just gonna do the sides. So boy, if, if you guys usually watch card my card making stuff, you haven't, probably haven't seen a video in a while, so I hope you're doing well. If, if this is the first video you've watched of mine in an age and a half. I think the other thing that's kind of, that kind of kept me from 
making cards for so long was that I was just so overwhelmed. And even I found myself getting that way when I was like getting ready to make these cards. I'm like, well, while I'm at it, I should do this and I should do that. And I was shitting all over myself and I decided, no, get some things you're inspired by, sit down and make a card for goodness sake. It doesn't have to have every technique and every supply that you have access to. You know, remember how fun it was to make cards before you had so much darn stuff. And that's what I did. I'm like, okay, stop the insanity. We've got to stop the insanity <laughs> and uh, and just have some fun, right? Uh, I kind of like this, these mushroom, these little mushroom uh, postage stamp. These are postage stamp washi tapes. I got these on Amazon a few years ago. They are so wonderful and I have not been able to find them since. And it's such a bummer because they are so beautiful. I'm going to put this red one kind of up here because I think it showing the black through it will mute that red down a little bit. And then I'm going to put this one that's got a little bit more pink on it and off center there. You can cover up some of that stickiness. I got stickiness there. I'm kind of thinking, <laughs> can I stick something else over there to kind of cover that up? I was not careful with my glue, uh, but that's all right. It will dry. And then I've got these, which are just little pieces of paper. But nevertheless, I think they're really cute. I might have to trim. I'm gonna have to trim this one down a bit because I my tape does go kind of high. But I just I just like it, and I think I might trim down the top of that a little bit. Try to keep it neat. And I might add a little smidgen of washi tape on there too, but let me get it in there and see what it, see what we got before I do that. I used to do so many cards that were just kind of like one take, you know, one take cards, and it was so fun. Um, actually, I don't know, maybe a little staple or something there. Actually, I could add a staple to each of these with my long reach stapler. I think that would be really cute. So I think I have that right over here. Oh no, what did I do with it? I realized I didn't even need a long reach stapler. <laughs> if a regular stapler would have worked, but I'm just gonna go ahead and, yes, the staples will be visible to the back. So if that bothers you, then you could always just staple through the, the uh, thing itself. And then you could go ahead and, um, then you could just go ahead and glue it underneath, but I'm not worried about that. I think it's still kind of fun. And let's see. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, this is fun. It's cute. I really like it. I'm just deciding, is there anything else? Oh, oh, you know what? Ah, I know what I want to use. So I was doing resin the other day and I had a bunch of resin drips. And so I saved them because I thought, oh, those would be really cute like dew drops on petals. So I'm gonna use a couple of those little dew drops. Look at that free supply. So when you are doing resin and you have a little bunch of little drops, I know that would be kind of random and you're probably like, I don't do resin, Lindsay, you crazy person. Card making things is enough for me to be involved with. Um, but there, then you have, you have something to use. I'm gonna like put a little glue though on a paper, on a little scrap. And then I'm gonna use uh, like a needle tool to add the glue to my drops. They should, oh, you know what? Is that gonna dry clear? I don't know. Well, let me see, what else do I have for glue here? You know what? I'm gonna use some, if this is not hardened in the tube, it's been a while, friends. I'm gonna use a super glue gel because I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm thinking that actually maybe Of course, I should make sure it will squeeze out before I bring it over. I think this might have hardened. Oh, no, it's still viable. All right. But that is clear. Actually, I think it's a little easier to put the glue down and then put the thing into it. Yeah, that's what, well, except for this one though, because it's so little, I think I'll just do it on the gem. I think that's cute. So we do have a little snail trail to deal with up there. Uh, I'm hoping it will dry and not be shiny. Um, I did have some scrap of paper that I had used for um, for making a, a sketchbook for my sister, but um, I'll show you the sketchbook. This is another one actually. This is I made one with different paper for her, but I was also 
practicing and doing another one, but isn't that cool? Anyway, so I use that paper, but I always like, if I'm making a gift, I will save the scraps. This is the, col the cover that I used on hers. Um, maybe I could decorate the inside of the card with that. That might be really cute. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely could do that. We could do that for sure. And then, oh, you know what? I can use the back side of this other paper that I used for thing for like a writing area. So let's trim this down so that it is the right, uh, the right width. I'm just going to set this aside and my trimmer. I, I have like such a mess here, actually. Hard to believe. And we'll just trim it on that little mark that I made. Okay, and I'm gonna tear this down because I like to have a lilac up here all torn edge. I think that's pretty. And then for this, I'm going to make a smaller, wait, yes, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make it just a little smaller area. I don't like to have too big of a space to write on because have that much to say and I'm going to tape this in actually so that she can um she can take out the note if she wants to reuse the card and give it to somebody else because I don't have a problem with that although she usually keeps my cards which is very sweet but I don't, I don't want anyone to feel obligated obligated to do I want to go that way or do I want to go that way I don't know what do you think I think I like that I think that's cute um, I'll just use some score tape on that. Glue stick probably would hold that fine, but better safe than sorry. So I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't watched a card, anybody else's card making videos in like forever. So I don't even know if this is like, this is probably so basic. Probably like, oh my gosh, Lindsay, what is this? Card making 1989 or, <laughs> I don't know. You're probably like, geez, Lindsay, this is so boring. But well, you're here I appreciate it. I'll put that on there. I feel like that needs a little pizzazz. Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna do that with I'm gonna do that with tape. I like this number of tape, so I think I'll use this. Could add a sticker to it as well. And washi tape's another thing. Don't let don't like hoard your washi tape because it will not last. You gotta use it. Use it or lose it. It will dry out or it will get like It'll turn into like this um, awful, it'll turn into some awful like glob of, I don't know, it just, will, it just won't be good. It won't be good. It will turn into a mass of yuck and you won't be able to unwind it and you'll be very sad. So, oh, kind of like that. That works. Does it, does it work or is it ugly? I don't know. Oh, this is better. No, it's not. I think maybe we don't put anything else on there. Oh wait, except maybe this, maybe this one. This was from, do you remember when um, it was really popular to make things out of bottle caps? Or in the way, in the way back machine. That's great, I like that. Um, so it was really popular to make things out of bottle caps <laughs> several years ago. Like, by several years ago, I mean like 20 years ago. And I still have bottle caps from that particular craft, both brand new bottle caps that I bought for that particular project and also bottle caps that I, um, that I like scrounged. <laughs> I have so many bottle caps and it's like, yeah, am I ever going to use those? Probably not. Let's just give it a little stamp while we're at, oh, that's pretty. I like that. And let's maybe do a little bit of this washi tape along the side. And there we have an interior and an exterior decorated card. Um, something else that's fun to do on the inside of the card, say if you use the scrapbook paper on the outside of the card and you wanna coordinate it, um, you can also make little pockets that go on the inside of your card so that you can put like a gift card or money or whatever if you wanna do that. You know what I think I also will do is just, why don't I just line that side? Yeah, why not? Just just line that and then you won't see the staples. Problem solved. Doesn't have to be like, 
You know, you don't have to open up a whole new piece of paper for it. Just use what you have. This page turn, people are always asking me about this. Well, always, because like, when have I done a card in the last decade? Um, people often ask me about this paper trimmer. This is uh, discontinued. It's by EK Success. You can still find some of the blades for it. If you're lucky on Amazon. Um, this is such a wonderful trimmer and I am really disappointed that they no longer make this because I've had this since, I mean, I've had this for like, let's see, my son is turning 21 this weekend. I started scrapbooking before he was a year old and I got this right off the bat. So I think I've had this for about 20 years, maybe 21, maybe 22. I might've had it before he was born. I'm not even sure. But, um, but it's great because it, it's, mine has stayed really square. Some people say that they have that, that, um, that cutter and it's not square, but mine has been perfectly square the whole time. So I don't know. I bought, uh, that's a fairly new blade and I probably should grab one more just to, so I'll have it for when that one goes dull. But yeah, if you have that cutter, you know what? Go buy an extra blade for it because it's still good. There, and then nobody can see the staples. And then that looks as pretty as it does on the outside. And I think that is just cute. And I love the fact that I was able to use those resin drops. So what do you have in your stash that you can do something like this with? You don't have to do the exact same thing as I have. Obviously nobody has exactly the same materials. Do you happen to have tissue paper that's just like that from an, a recent order or, or resin sparkles or those little booklets or the washi tape? No, we all have different things. You could steam off some um, stamps from some mail that you get and use that or cut some little details out of pattern paper or, you know, print something off the internet, some vintage clip art, do whatever you want to do. Use ribbon if you don't have this or use washi tape for in place of ribbon. Have fun with it and make it your own because really I think if card making is going to be sustainable and we're going to love it and we're going to keep doing it, we've got to make it work with the stuff we have because um, otherwise it's just this never ending race to obtain the newest and the newest and the newest and it's more shopping for product than it is about actually making cards. But Anyway, or, or go buy some new stuff. I'm not your mother. You do what you want to do. Uh, but there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like card making videos. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.